little like gravy when you're so such cute that chicken is cooking down low such cute that chicken a sweet jelly roll I love I said little like gravy mama says I know you want to do Possum and he named him Joe and he put him in his barn. Said he cooked that possum and he cooked him down low and the grease coming around him from the Joe, Joe, Joe. Sat there like gravy, mama said I knew you wanna do. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. 
Jones Bill. Fighting Casey Jones coming over the hill. The engine was a puffin' and the boys was hot. While the coons on bones on the turkey trot. The railroad run alongside the bank. Casey crawled down from behind the tank. Bill said to Casey, you're a racing man. Hit up your steam and go as fast as you can. Now Casey and Bill, down the Mississippi, Casey and Bill. All full of me, Casey and Bill, down the Mississippi. Trying to break the record of a Robert and Lee. Now down the river, about a mile below, was the bridge where they had to go. The boat was running about neck and neck. When they reached this bridge, it's going to be a wreck. So Casey reach up, the whistle he blew. The door bridge open for to let him through. They both come together and they both must die because the race was over and it was a time. Now Cajun Bill, down the Mississippi, Cajun Bill, all full of glee, Cajun Bill, down the Mississippi, trying to break the record of a rubber dilly. <laughs> was a shame, was no one that knew their name. When the wives got the message, the husband was dead. They both raised the river with the tears they shed. The little kids didn't seem to bother, when someone told them that they lost their father. One said to the other, don't cry and fret, we don't need no daddy more to suffer it yet. Now Cajun Bill, down the Mississippi, Cajun Bill, all full of glee, Cajun Bill. Down the Mississippi, trying to break the record of a Robert Dilly. And when they died, no one knows. Up to heaven is where they wanted to go. The same Peter says, boy, you must relate. Something good that you've done to put you through this gate. Bill says, I know, at one time, we gave 20 cents to a man was blind. St. Peter says, you know, that don't go, Bill. So you can take your 20 cents and go to Jeffersonville. Now, Cajun and Bill, down the Mississippi, Cajun and Bill. All full of glee, Cajun and Bill, down the Mississippi. Trying to bring the ring of the Robert Dilly. <laughs>
trouble and some nation. When our folks were the nation, they tried to get a good man for better than. I had a big brother named Moses, very swell promoter. He was always looking for swell advice. So I told him to go right down to the pole, hope that his whole heart and soul played supporting one, he voted twice. And now he's down in jail, no one should go in bail. The giant said he should have given life. He's in the jailhouse now. He's in the jailhouse now. We told that boy before he left home to let them politics along. He's in the jailhouse now. Now up in New York City, folks thought it was a pity that the landlord had to raise that rent so high. We hustled around that town, in all our hustled round. We could not raise that rent, no way we tried. My mother took in washing, my sister done the ironing. I helped around the town by shining shoes. But my daddy walked around, like he owned New York town, spending all the mama's money buying moonshine food. He's in the jailhouse now. As fast and more could get that rent, Paul was stealing everything. He's in the jailhouse now. Now I went out last Friday. I met a big fat girl named Ida. She thought I was the swellest coon in town. She commenced to call me honey. Naturally, I began to spend my money. We took an ever cavalry that could be found. We were drinking every minute. I thought I was in it. I was buying Jamaica ginger by the pound. But when I went to pay that man, I found little out of hand. Right in my pocket where my money was. She's in the graveyard now. She's in the graveyard now. I told that judge back to his face, I don't stand a lot of pain. She's in the graveyard now.
honest and true Why there's not another one who do I wish I only knew What makes my baby blue She crossed my heart I'd rather die Than make my baby cry Vampire women, have really got this day. They run in all you pro green, hard working married men astray. You can see a vampire at night. She'll be posing up on the street with some poor green, hard working married man. She'll have a chance to meet. You know, she'll wink and blink at him and give him that vampy smile. That married man will go right back home and mistreat the loving wife and child. If you dress your wife and treat her like the vamp that walks the street, you have a vampire woman at home. You have a vampire too. Now 
Now this way, giving those old vampires all your week's wedges. I'm going to tell you, Mr. Married Maine, that'll never do. Because some of these mornings, poor party, you might come home late. There'll be another long, tall sheet keeping out of your back gate. If you dress your wife and treat her like the vamp that walks the street, you'll have a vampire woman at home. You'll have a vampire too. Now that old mad Maine gets broke. He thought he'd call on the vampire woman's flat. But when he knocked at her door, mm -mm, she didn't know a thing about that. He said, look here, baby, I'm the married man. Won't you please let me in again? She said, why, yes, Mr. Married Man, she got some more of those fives and tens. He said, look here, baby, you know you ain't treating this clean, hard-working married man right. I've been giving you all my money, neglecting my wife each and every Saturday night. She said, look here, Mr. Married Man, you're smart, you have a pretty good go. But if you ain't got no more money, don't knock on this vampire woman's door. If you dress your wife and treat her like the vamp that walks the street, you'll have a vampire woman at home. You'll have a vampire too.